Gujarat woman marries herself <laughs> in first instance of solo gammy do you think she did it for the lifafas the 100 rupee notes in the lifafas i'll marry myself so i get lifafas oh you think you use the cash, cash to go basically <laughs> <laughs> she just wanted like a little vacation for herself you check this out singapore man who's woman for, for trauma of being friend zone <laughs> find someone with a uh, matching trauma yes matching levels of trauma yeah and find someone with contrasting trauma so that look you look good together everything is pointless Pointless. After the success of episode three, we are back with episode four, mm. and we are shooting it in the middle of the night. We've just woken up from a nap, and uh, there's one important thing that needs to be addressed here. It is uh, the fact that a lot of you are watching our videos, and you're not clicking subscribe, you're Get not liking, mm. right? So that's very important. So please do it. Uh, I'm Anurag. This is John. You can follow us on Instagram as well. and we are on the channel injaras please like share subscribe follow us on instagram and well, you have stuff there that's the yeah. thing yeah like that these buggers don't know that's the hey, worst this right? isn't the only thing by the way if you don't like this <laughs> we, we have options on the channel <laughs> what do you want to do just look at yourself in the mirror and ask yourself this question do i want to watch pewdiepie playing a stupid kids game <laughs> or do i want to watch tan my butt reacting to some stupid meme <laughs> we have the third option or do i want to sit and listen to this shit <laughs> weighing against those three i think we come out on banging the on the top yeah yeah yeah, yeah. we <laughs> so, have so many more options right like yeah. we, we have this anyway this is anyway. what are the other one the travel one yeah there's like travel one yeah. we have documentaries on the channel documentaries too yeah. free documentaries Yeah, Netflix charges how much? Seven dollars per month or ten dollars per month? Seven dollars per month, but but if you go by Ankur Varikur's uh, direction, it's eight thousand a month because the way he calculates it, it's also the amount of time you spend after the purchase. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Anyhow, I just want to go back to that guy. Yeah, yeah. So we'll talk <clears throat> about him some other day. Today we are going to talk about relationships. Relationships, or should I say, relation shit? Whichever version, it depends <laughs> on what they're in. Yeah, some depends on what in, you are in. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I guess some people are in a relationship. Relation shit, all. What, what the hell is situation ship? Like, it's like it's such a weird thing, no? What's like, that? You don't know? No. Like, when, when you are uh, so so, and it's it's a Gen Z term, you know, when yeah, you are not in a relationship, but you. You're not just friends, but you are also not in a relationship. So yeah, this like is like when I dodge the question and just say it's complicated. There's really <laughs> nothing. I have nothing going on, <laughs> but I just chuma just to look whatever I have. It's complicated. <laughs> What's the complication? There's nothing. There's a, there's a girl I like. She doesn't like me back. That's about it. <laughs> That's a <the> complication. <laughs> That's so we picked this topic out on the account of we looked up. Chat GPT. This is one of those topic topics. A hundred percent of the people in the world can fucking relate to. Yeah, yeah. Except yeah. for the crazy ones. Yeah. Uh, I just pulled this one out. <laughs> That's married herself. This is the this is the look at this one. Gujarat woman marries herself in first instance of solo gammy. How do you say? Who cares about this? solo gammy? <laughs> I listen to this story. A twenty-four, twenty-four year old woman in Gujarat's what was the Vadodara? Vadodara had created a nationwide buzz last week when she <laughs> announced that she would be marrying herself. <laughs> this is the story. Just when, just when you think like this, probably everybody goes through this. <laughs> There's people out there marrying themselves. Uh, uh one uh, weird part of it it I'll, i'll actually skip to that thing i finally got married to myself at my <laughs> home so she's been thinking about this she's 24 it's been Let's her say, childhood dream <laughs> you think 
<laughs> probably you know i'll tell you like what my theory is after hearing this whole story yeah you know when you are a kid and you are asexual like kids are asexual right you're not sexually attracted and though that is the time when if if you make a a, a guy a boy sit next to a girl they are ashamed of sitting next to a girl right have you gone through that they probably won't feel him what is that they probably won't feel him yeah, i mean they what, even feel shame or him yeah, yeah. that's like, what uh, asexual is right uh, you don't feel yeah. anything right and that is when as this a, is a kid, turn we have taken here huh? that is a that is maybe <laughs> mm. that's when she was like okay i'll marry myself this is the, this really is wild any time i open my god damn mouth to talk about relation they always like about therapy and stuff <laughs> what about this this is this is somehow okay to marry your own god damn ass i'm like a good for her i guess yeah and then the last line literally says uh, she is listen to this this is one she will now be heading for a two week honeymoon in goa <laughs> imagine which, what she would be doing which <laughs> yeah boy <laughs> <clears throat> maybe maybe that's any which ways these hotels don't entertain nothing yeah so i guess this i, I guess they'll accept yeah who are you with again <laughs> yourself as fine man <laughs> marrying themselves marrying i themselves. mean this is a weird this is a strange thing no yeah you can't escape judgment i don't get it like on one part of it says she's facing backlash and controversy and all yeah. i'm I, i think it's uh, associated with the religious uh, things yeah. i think there was a lot of religious stuff and all that yeah. but forget that forget <laughs> who cares forget that one yeah is nobody talking about the, the solo part in this <laughs> <laughs> that is another kind of backlash that i'm sure she is getting right because yeah. she is breaking a norm like like if you are already by yourself why do you need to marry it doesn't make sense on any level why do you have to do this whole process no but that's one part of it says she's taking she's... a stance like she wants to show others who are tired of uh, you know relationship yeah. you're 24 <laughs> I'm 33. I'm still 34. Closing, in fact, I'm still not tired. I'm chasing like this is the first. This is my first crush ever. Sir. I'm chasing uh, women like this is literally my. This is the first time I've seen. Do you women. think she did it for the lifafas, the hundred rupee notes in the lifafas? I'll marry myself so I get lifafas. Oh, you think? So? Use the cash, cash to go. Business. <laughs> so basically, she just wanted like a little vacation for herself. Using that God money to go it. on a honeymoon with myself to go. drinking beer i mean how do you <laughs> just imagine sitting out in the goa the, the beach shacks yeah, yeah. just couples have the hot cups there <laughs> people are making out feeling that stuff wouldn't that feel a little awkward for her i mean there has to be some part of it where she up until this point she is coming across very confident like you know like she knows what she's doing and all this yeah. like So clearly, uh, there's been so many people saying uh, no. What? So clearly, there's been it's been a while since you know this been happening. So yeah. To actually go through the entire way, <laughs> another part of it says she pre-pawned the thing <laughs> for the amount of backlash and shit she was getting for it. <laughs> yeah. So she went through the thing. Yeah. Now my whole thing is where at what point will she be like, okay, this was kind of stupid. <laughs> Like maybe, there has to be. Maybe she watches us talking about this, and she realizes. I think this is stupid. And how will she break it off? <laughs> <laughs> She'll file for a divorce with Where herself the and make news again. <laughs> God. But I guess now this moves on to writing a book and maybe a movie deal, and then royalty from it, and then retire out. <laughs> It's going to retire at twenty six. Yeah, I think that's the that's the way out. Yeah. Speaking of this goddamn thing, okay, see, okay, so she, what? It is kind of it's still it's like crazy fascinating for me. Because what about a crush? Like you've not had a crush. <laughs> what about a relationship? Like, how many did you even have? It's like twenty four years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How many you think she went and like tried out and stuff? I mean, twenty four, twenty four. Probably you are. You are breaking up your first relationship, maybe, or or second re- relationship, right? Yeah. You're still, it's like, I mean, at twenty, you're not in the crush phase. Yeah. You're saying, 
No, no, I was a late bloomer, dude. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> you can be like, like I was like ahead in every other thing. You like can I was be in the crush, crush phase at any phase. You could you could be in a relationship and have crush, right? When when do you? What's the farthest you can go? Memory wise, you can go by. When do you think? You memory would? wise, I had my first crush on one of my English teachers in school. Dude, I never felt this goddamn thing, dude. Right? Up until twelfth grade, I didn't feel no anything. No, so that that was why I'm calling it a crush. Was it was not the the traditional kind of crush that we feel today. You know, like okay. you, your attraction kind of crush. Because I was in probably four, three, four standard. What will you feel back then? But it's just a, a certain kind of likeness. You know, it's like. Uh, you do things to get their attention. You want yeah, to all kids. You goof. want uh, the teacher. No, but that I was a, an, a deep introvert. I would not speak. But in that class, mm. I would want her to give stars for my handwriting. Ah. And my handwriting is so shit. You you show with your own. <laughs> <laughs> Third, fourth grade. Uh, yeah. God damn. But even yeah, even uh, like I at least uh, sort of loosely remember. You know. The, the, at least my friends and all of that. On yeah. some level, if they've not said it or whatever. Say, ah, of course, you can see it. Like, yeah, yeah these people, you yeah. know, have a little crush on this uh, teacher or whatever. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I all, I'm trying to think if I had anything at all. Like, I can't. Uh, I think the first I had my crush, like literally first year of college. I think. <laughs> yeah, which is a little late, also I suppose. Yeah. There are these um, uh, uh, first crush and first relation one. There used to be people who were in like a kind of relationship thing. Like I want want to say maybe from like tenth grade or mm. ninth grade or all of that. Yeah. Like I've seen people. Yeah. You know, but I don't know what that was anyway. Mm. Because the max they would do is like go to the the snacks, uh, whatever the <laughs> some some shack somewhere, eat together and go back home. So. By ninth tenth, I remember people were dating out of peer pressure. You know, like girls, oh, yeah. yeah, girls would be like, "Oh, I have a boyfriend, I have this and that," and yeah. all the, like most of the eight, nine, ten standard. I mean, I don't know. I'm not generalizing, but this is what I saw in my age group. Like girls in my school would would be dating someone from the outside, and these would be like twenty year olds. God, imagine damn. in nine, ten standard, how old are you? You're fourteen, fifteen, mm. max sixteen, and uh, you are dating like a twenty, twenty one, twenty three year old. Guy, like he j- he just has a bike or shit, and he doesn't do anything. Like that that used to be so weird. Like girls in my batch would start dating these guys, and we would be like, "What the hell?" Mm. You know, even if you have a crush, you get to know, oh, she's dating someone, and that person is not even from the school; it's from the outside. And then sometimes you would fight. Like those guys would beat the hell out of the that guys was in school. So right? that was the funny part, like for me, <laughs> because I used to thoroughly enjoy that shit. <laughs> Because again, I'm telling you, know, like <clears throat> I don't understand much of what was going on. Because yeah. the max I would see them was like, so they're either in the same tuition or something. <laughs> That's like because where the hell are you going to hang out? Where are you going to meet? What do you? What the hell are you yeah. going to do? You have, it's ninth, tenth grade. So yeah, the, yeah. the max right after school, they'll you know go together to some some uh, some, some yeah. bloody snack uh, fucking shack somewhere, or they'll meet again. They're the most. And two buggers <laughs> to reach the tuition because they know they have, you know, they crush this girl, they have the girlfriends. Right? <laughs> this this reminds me. So, like, how looking back, how I can see when I had a crush? It's basically there was a, my mom would like put my school uniform. You know, she would every button she would put it together. She mm-hmm. would tie my laces, shoe laces. She would oil my hair mm-hmm. with the with the uh, the oil in the kitchen. You know, a coconut oil or something, mm. and then she would just like stick my hair all over my head. You know, and suddenly, like in six, in a gap of three, four months, mm. I am spending half an hour like combing my hair in front of the mirror before going to school. I am like b- keeping one button off. Uh. And then, I'm going to school, you know. So that's when I realized, oh, I'm do like looking back out now. I realize I was uh. doing the- it for my crush. That's when I had my first crush. Okay. And this was somebody in your same class, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> like, I'm trying to remember because I didn't. I don't think I had anything. Like, even as a uh, like a silly thing, say, I don't think I had even up to twelfth grade. 
there was one uh, cute girl but she was the smartest in the lot <laughs> so i immediately knew this, like uh, even grade wise oh, i was literally the last in my class yeah. like actually the last in my class yeah. she was literally the first in the class yeah so i immediately i know this this scale <laughs> this balance is uh, you know you have to tilt a lot to uh, get through but i disagree i disagree with this and i'll tell you why because i've seen so many like guys i mean so many guys who just tried you know it's mm. not like they were intrinsic like they were really good looking or they were good at studies or they had some talent or anything nothing like that they just were desperate enough to like constantly try 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 now this is going <laughs> in the line of this what garbage uh, trend i remember uh, uh, back home these yeah. movies they would be these swines from the village yeah. like absolute goofballs yeah like that's how the the story would be so yeah. the the main guy the, the the hero character yeah he's he's in his village he's not <laughs> left the village he's in the village driving probably a bullet um, i won't say a bullet only or a jeep he is pretty much a goon in his village okay yeah, yeah, yeah. uh he has this one uh, girl who's always been in, in his neighborhood maybe they've seen each other as uh, little kids or whatever but she <laughs> she moves out yeah. she moves out she she basically uh, you know okay she goes out in fact out out she out studies yeah. yeah so uh, uh, education everything is all outside and then one summer one beautiful summer she comes back home <laughs> to you know to a village uh i come back to her roots again who cares somehow this village swine ends up uh, ends up with her now this is a the, the, in reality me, it is never going to happen never got, when have you ever seen this kid <laughs> have you ever seen this work where you know like i always felt like women shoot up 10x more than where they are uh, yeah, yeah, in a yeah, thing say yeah. not 10x uh, <laughs> minus like going uh, downwards and this movie is like you know it's like she she'll be that of course going outside she's yeah. become a little more uh, social a little more uh, you know outgoing and all this yeah. which are not i guess uh the kind of uh, uh traits you want to see in like what do you, what's that goddamn term called oh, hey, sans sanskari <laughs> what is that <laughs> sanskari <laughs> sanskari yeah 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 it's something on that line right yeah. like that's going against the grain on that one <clears throat> so all through the movie uh she is basically fighting out the the sanskar uh, part of her <laughs> you know what i'm saying like, yeah 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 uh, throughout the movie she has to shed out all the good things she acquired <laughs> from uh, outside <laughs> and be, like it's literally at one point in the movie she has to switch back to us like a sari or something this is and, literally the whole plot of uh, namaste london akshay kumar's movie oh is it <laughs> i mean but talking about movies i think in india and especially like small town india like there's a huge impact of movies you know 100% on how you think about love and yeah, relationship yeah. and it goes both ways for girls for women and for the guys as well that's what i was saying when when a guy intrinsically is not attractive and he's just trying on the girl he's he's pretty much stalking, chasing yeah stalking chasing her ass down the road creep, yeah. you know like and i have been that guy <laughs> <laughs> in my in my colony there was this girl that i used to like uh, every evening and she would uh, take her cycle and she would start riding the cycle around you know like the, uh, and then i would follow her on the cycle <laughs> i mean this is just nuts <laughs> <laughs> I don't know this was going to come up Jesus Christ is there any part where you you know right now I don't know if it's right now but uh, they're almost trying to uh, see if they can use rap lyrics against you know rappers when if the situation uh, comes up you think this will ever come up in like a podcast <laughs> thing right? can they ever dig up shit and, you know use this against us I mean hopefully not hopefully not i didn't do anything wrong as such yeah no i'm just saying like i'm just thinking out loud here this <laughs> <laughs> because you're right like this uh, this movie thing no yeah it's like after a while you have to go like 
who is this for? It's like because it, it actually is at least from the jackasses I have seen back home. Yeah. They actually think it's r- really Real. doable. Yeah, like, this yeah, is hundred yeah, yeah. percent doable. <clears throat> I don't care if I am in a Hercules cycle and she is in some Hummer or some shit. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. easy. I just have to drive on the side yeah. of the Hummer and keep knocking on the door. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah, know yeah. what it is, but it is a huge, uh, you know, like a the, like a character thing that they set up. They no. really think this is like a like a doable god damn the thing. The worst thing that Hindi movies have done, especially for men, like for men like us, they have established this in Hindi movies that one-sided love, you know, if you love a girl, you don't need her to love you back. Yeah. It's like there's this dialogue. It's so arrogant. There's this dialogue where it's like, okay, I would still love her. Yeah. And then it's, waste 10 years of your life. E- even their proposal w- even their proposal would be on that uh, angle. It yeah. won't be in the sense of, listen, I like you. Do you like me back? So, you know, it'll be, yeah. it'll just be, I like you. That's it. Yeah. The yeah. statement ends there. And yeah, it, it ends there. Uh, I don't even care. Yeah, if you- I don't really. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of that thing, listen to this, listen to this, of not taking, of being able to accept, because that's one huge uh, bloody component in this, yeah, which yeah. is like being able to take a no, yeah, yeah, being yeah. able to take a no, which such a, sounds so simple, but I can't tell you how many times I've been looking up, uh, <clears throat> you know, these uh, advice stuff and all this thing. I mean, let's face it, dude, there's clearly no... You know, one single, like, okay, this is the right thing to do. This is the wrong. (laughs) It's so tough, especially having to deal with, especially if you're not on any level aware of what's going on. Because it's so, it's an emotional uh, goddamn journey. Mm -hmm. You know, a a no to your face. It's like, (laughs) it's always difficult to. It's so tough. It's so tough. Rejection is tough. It has to be tough. That's how Not for this guy. <laughs> Check this out. Singapore man sues woman for, for trauma of being friend zoned. <laughs> Three million lawsuit against this woman. And apparently... I would be a millionaire. No, billionaire if I would follow. No, no I'm following this bug. I'm doing this. Get ready to move out to, uh, where can we move out from? Uh, move, move out to some f- nice place we'll find. Yeah, yeah. we'll but, move out to LA. But this is what I'm saying. He's literally f- filing a case against this female. Yeah. And uh, the more you read into it, she said, no, I only see you as a friend. <laughs> That's it. That's pretty much all you need. Because in our delusional head also, no? like it's, it's always a, a point of, but why? Yeah, yeah, but yeah. why? What? Yeah. What? What? The why? Worst, why? Why? The... <laughs> like we want like more answers. Like we almost want them to say, "Listen, you are too short, or you are too fat." Or... <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like it's one weird thing we have in our head. Is like <laughs> you're too tall. Yeah, you, you. Like they have to say something. It's like no. They can just say no. By the way, they can. You know, they can simply say, no, like, I see you as a friend. No, but that's like, that's never fucking enough. Like, why? But like, why? Like, what do you mean why? Like, you know why? Why? I think it hurts them a lot. Because in your head, in your own delusion as a man, you would be like, oh, I love her so much. I would do this. I would do that. And yeah. when you make yourself so available to someone, mm. they are also not realizing, you know, they need something, they need a help. Oh, drop me to the tuition. You're there with your scooty, dropping her to the tuition. Oh, pick me up from here. You're there. Oh, my boy, I I cannot speak to my boyfriend. Recharge my phone. You're recharging your phone. And I'm taking these stupid examples because like that's where it starts. That's where it starts. Yeah. And in your head, you're like, I would do anything for her. I'm always there for her. I'm always there for her. I'm her biggest... Yeah. yeah, and when she says, I see you just as a friend, that's why it hurts so much because you've invested so much emotionally. Mm. That is a in problem. In every way, right? That really is a big problem. Like, because uh, uh, I don't know how much of this, I don't want to go, go too uh, knee deep into this thing <laughs> because even I've figured this out very recently. Yeah. So, it's this whole concept called limerence. Yeah. So, the basic thing is this it's like you're just, in, it's just infatuation. Mm. No, it's like, there's nothing there. Yeah. You're just imagining things. Yeah. You're just hoping this is what it is. <laughs> and you're just rolling with it. Yeah. yeah. This guy, this this mm. article clearly, like, you know, it's uh, something on that line. Because it's like, uh, what, a year or something of this. Mm. And the guy still hasn't 
triggered nothing <laughs> like again he's going back and filing yeah. it's like uh, second uh, suit third suit something it's just going on and that's what happens no sometimes it's like because i have been there like i've been there uh, where it's like it's pretty much on my side only there's there's really nothing on there but you know like just from just going back to oh yeah i did uh, ask her out she did say no it's like it should have that should have been the end yeah you should have moved on you should you have sh- another crush you should yeah crushed. maybe yeah but i'm on uh, reddit looking up uh, typing out literally sometimes this is the craziest shit i'll type out the exact <laughs> stuff they would be saving i say i have done that shit i am like i found exactly has. what they said or actually what happened <laughs> and pray to christ there's a similar story or something <laughs> which never is most, most of the time i've just seen some iit ads and, you know this reddit 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 really on cora you find sometimes uh, cora some, cora yeah situations oh, yeah, on cora or something why up in no cora. i'm not up in cora but i mean it has helped me in situations like this as if you put it that way i i, I would bring out wikili also but it's so sad to say that <laughs> have you seen wikili relationship stuff not wiki league you mean wiki how <laughs> not case no. wiki, wiki league how <laughs> imagine going up wiki league <laughs> i'm so desperate i'm going up wiki league is there anything in your relationship <laughs> and you know wiki league right in wiki league they'll uh, it's like a whistle blower thing and they'll reveal these that this government has been doing this, this yeah government. yeah yeah imagine you open it and they talk about obama and hillary clinton or some, some uh, relationship some, yeah something like that but yeah <clears throat> what do you think like like you know those friends who who would like who would extend themselves crazy to support relationship yeah yeah so they <laughs> so i would almost say they are like the first uh, you know these advisors and love gurus and all can you imagine one of them actually becomes like a love guru in the future <laughs> there has to be you know some uh, you know like a, a venn diagram like an intersection where that actually overlaps you know the 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 i and i have noticed this the people guys or girls mm. who give you the best advice they are always single like they are the ones who will be the loneliest they this, are the ones who this kind of the... characters you find in anything there are, i know people who give finance advice who are like uh, broke a shit all <laughs> who never got shit together who never done shit this this kind of instance you can always I know find. i know finance guys who gone rich by giving finance advice they don't do they don't like really no, they have no money of their own they yeah. take another's money <laughs> yeah like i i've always seen friends at least because that used to be you know one thanks eh? <laughs> that actually used to be a thing you know if you're in like a it's like a deciding factor sometimes in a circle yeah because i know for a fact i had to get out of like i've been sidelined in some groups because i have nothing to contribute to yeah. who cares because especially growing up like like i told you in, in school and almost up to college and all of that i barely had anything so i, I was very like i was not interested at all like, like you know like yeah. i want to sit there talk about what happened in the last swat cats uh, god damn it so, yeah, yeah, you yeah. know i want to discuss uh, dexter's uh, laboratory over there that's the level of interest i had you want to discuss hentai anyway anyway hentai <laughs> <laughs> the dog shit i got for that at the school no when people found out i like hentai and shit uh, what was i saying yeah the the friends jackasses friends, yeah. i know i got sidelined a little bit you know for showing the least level of uh, interest in it because that was a big fascination no and uh, especially school and all of that yeah. like these kids are like oh you know like uh, in <laughs> especially my school was huge yeah. maybe there were like two people or three people in relationship yeah. the rest of us all of us talking about them yeah <laughs> which is insane it's like wait a minute so it's not even your relationship or anything it's, it's not even like you know something you are involved in it's someone else you don't even know it's, and this is a topic like who, who cares but that's how involved they are like uh, uh, on the topic of relationship yeah. like i literally remember one friend like i can't out this mother he made like a little <clears throat> uh, 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 customized uh, keychain thing i don't know what the yeah. hell it was yeah. i think it's one of those things you can put something in the center like uh, like those uh, those globes that uh, yeah, yeah, the stuff yeah yeah and it opens 
like a small keychain he got mm. not for him not for his girlfriend <laughs> for this other guy he's like go oh, give us this i'm like what what's what support system support system is this if <laughs> i have been that guy like i should not be laughing at this but i have been that guy suggesting what gift to give for, forget suggesting so they i like i i am friends with the guy and the girl and they are dating okay this is the worst this <laughs> that's is the worst, the worst. this that really is, is the worst that is the worst and the girl's dad knows because the girl is in my class mm. the guy is in another section okay okay <laughs> and the girl's dad knows that we are friends okay so sh- during the summer vacation she's expecting vacation, you to protect her no no no, no. <laughs> During summer vacations, she would tell her dad that mm. I am going for group studies at Anurag's house. Oh, this is this is the worst. And then her dad would drop her to my house. Then I would take my dad's bike and drop her to her boyfriend's house, and they would make out in the room. And I am sitting outside watching TV. And then I'll take her to my house where her dad is going to pick pick up pick her up. This is her. insane, dad. Imagine who the hell does this? <laughs> We should have been in school, bugger. We should have been in school together. Jesus Christ! I needed some help, dude. Nobody's helping me for nothing. Yeah, and like I was, I was straight up single. Like I was so lonely. You mm. know, imagine you're sitting outside watching TV and your friends are making out in the room and shit. I remember this one uh, dumb story. Like when I, I think this is tenth grade or something. Uh, they'll create like one. Uh, Like on hype uh, thing, the, a lot of times there really is nothing. A lot of time I feel it's just like one. You know what I'm saying? Is because of this whole infatuation. What yeah. is this goddamn thing? Is people are so caught up in that thing. Like since I was like almost like I had nothing. Like yeah. I just used to like sit and observe and shit. Yeah. This guy. So th- th- this there's this uh, uh, cute girl. Mm. What? Yeah, another forty guys would at least would like her. No, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Especially, yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially that kind of situation. Yeah. yeah. This guy just went out and claimed her for himself. <laughs> like for himself, he just went around. The girl to, also doesn't know, but the girl doesn't know. He spread the rumor. Yeah, he's just walking on saying, yeah, yeah, like uh, we we we've been <clears throat> dating for like uh, six months now and all this. Yeah, yeah. Turns out this is the funniest shit. Turns out through this. Crazy rumor that he was spreading. They found out who her actual boyfriend is. She actually had a boyfriend. <laughs> she just didn't go around announcing it yeah. on the yeah. uh, thing. Yeah. To, uh, the actual boyfriend is like, what are you? She's my girl. <laughs> This is the so we're heading back home. Uh, I'm on uh, my cycle. He's on his cycle. We're paddling, paddling, paddling. There was a huge uh, ground that used to we used to uh, cross. Say. Yeah. So literally on the middle in the middle of the ground. Him and three of his friends are waiting for us. <laughs> They are waiting for us right? <laughs> to beat the hell out of you. <laughs> yeah, just just listen to this. Paddling, paddling, paddling. It's like one uh, movie ka sequence. We go past him. As soon as we go past him, like two two more uh, uh, paddles in. Hey, we're like what the f- <laughs> stop and we uh, turn. A full Tamil Tamil movie scene. Hey, what the. <laughs> <laughs> and then my friend so he's pointing at my friend yeah come over he, he my friend goes to his guy and he's like you know who i am so before my friend could answer one tight fucking slap on his fucking face rings the entire ground so he finally tells him he reveals that he is the boyfriend of he's the real he, boyfriend yeah he's the actual uh, boyfriend yeah, the one who slapped so yeah the thing is she's a cute girl or whatever so yeah just that In his side, he she didn't announce it. She hasn't announced it yet, so nobody knows. Like the public, uh, this one. and there's nothing, nowhere you can go find out about it. So, sir, happily just went around because I don't know. Maybe he's scared of rejection. This is a, because this rejection thing, yeah, is such a weird thing. Like you can see it spilling on the internet with this whole uh, sigma sigma, hmm. sigma male sigma <laughs> men men going their own way, no thoughts, only vibes. It's like you know, and it's like a huge, like a like a movement that they're trying to. But I, that's the worst, right? Like it's become a movement. But we know, like personally, I definitely know all these Sigma male on podcasts and like all these videos that you watch. Yeah. Of them saying like sexist things, they are just 
playing a character it's in a character. really they yeah. cannot no one in today's world no one can really think like that in real life yeah or at least openly say it right but they, these these 17 year olds the gen z is becoming their fans and that's oh, why it's becoming a movement it right? is yeah it's like uh, uh, you know they're always blaming it uh, saying uh, like the support system is not there or yeah. you know it's like uh, uh, men are uh, you know not that cared for and mm. all which is understandable which we pretty much brought it on ourselves on like ourselves. we used to say yeah yeah, yeah. nobody cares only like e- even uh, even uh, uh, talking about something as simple as uh, break up and all that yeah so, women's face is a, a lot more fascinating to uh, look at mm-hmm. they they go through uh, they break up uh they'll hit the gym mm. they'll get in even more better shape than <laughs> what they were uh, yeah you, before that only they were like a pretty good all yeah they'll get in even <laughs> more you know like a yeah sexy like, shapes yeah, yeah yeah put on like one uh, uh, like a two piece or something like a little a little yeah. out there outfits yeah, yeah. and then look hot basically yeah they basically yeah show a little skin look hot <clears throat> and their uh, uh, goddamn caption will read uh, <laughs> Uh, not your princess <laughs> but a queen uh not your princess yeah. but a queen yeah 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 like you know no and then no girls atti- will come and you go girl no no attitudes <laughs> just better standards i'm like listen just this has nothing to do with the picture the picture basically is uh, you know are you are you miss this you miss this you miss this ass that <laughs> Mean, meanwhile the guys it's the opposite trajectory like yeah. if they were going to the gym they would have quit the gym booze booze up all day every day they've done none of the they've done <laughs> that's what yeah. I, that's that's our you know that's our trajectory yeah it really is sad when you actually think about it because okay yeah even between us we understand you know but how, just to clarify we are not blaming women we are not saying that women move on easily what we are saying is that we men have not created that support system among each yeah. other yeah right? like because this can be misconstrued and taken in different well then ask and fuck off then so <laughs> go and listen to andro tate <laughs> okay okay so listen to andro tate and uh, you know uh, uh, john peterson ah yeah. oh, this even this john peterson you know it's yeah, like yeah. It's so funny like like because i was a huge we used to be huge yeah, fan but I, now i, I want gone... to still say because his other stuff i still watch the the relationship like i don't i don't want to know nothing anymore it's like he's just like a nuts relationship global warming he's just going in like climate change you should not talk just, about yeah this. he's just going nuts in uh, different topics and all that, which i'm like let's just let's just forget about gender it. politics gender politics yeah all these crazy things <laughs> that he wants to get into now uh, uh with uh, with and to take stuff that's what that's what happens yeah. the the reverse of it when yeah. rather than cultivate that support and this you know okay let's be vulnerable and all this yeah. whatever yeah. make it a little leveler thing but it goes other ways like uh, sigma males now it's all <laughs> who's that south in uh, sorry south african who's that south african comedian who also has a night show like a news kind of show what's mm. his name trevor noah trevor noah so trevor noah has this joke and mm. he actually talks about this same thing that how you know people say men do not have a support system but technically if you see we have not created that support system among ourselves yeah no we don't have that kind of friendship you know i can abuse you and you wouldn't mind like personally the closer i am to a friend i abuse them a lot more like mm. use abuse language in a right right same right? yeah yeah i don't abuse them but abusive language yeah, you know yeah. that's the but then i cannot get vulnerable with them you know <laughs> no one can even yeah. they cannot get vulnerable with me right that's how we have grown up and we have created this thing where even if i have to say i love you man yeah, try yeah. to add a man and yeah, yeah. say it in a like i i way. i feel that literally like so me and this should i just say anish yeah fuck it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. anish like when when he hangs up he's like i love you man i'll just yeah i'll take i'll literally take like one two three seconds and just process in my head should i should i say it or sometimes i just hang up like i don't give a damn like i'll just, just hang up because i'm so awkward with this thing i remember you hung up on his face when he even before he was said completed the sentence yeah guess a little it is a weird thing dude. like maybe we should start a move <laughs> say love you to your friend 
30 minutes earlier we were saying everybody subscribe now 30 minutes later like everybody joined march <laughs> so let's talk about long distance okay but, but like sigma mail is okay but what do you think about long distances must be the i don't understand it at all dude. like in my head maybe i'm going against all the long distance people here but who cares <laughs> how is how, i care <laughs> it's it's not a relationship i, I don't see it as a, this this is good as me sitting back and like dreaming I, that's how i see it's because i feel like it's a little uh, uh, what do you call all it all the responsibilities of a relationship and no fun <laughs> that and also i feel it's a little selfish uh, also no like i mean if the whole point is uh you know let's uh, hang out get to know each other build something say and if you're <laughs> streaming together a movie yeah, uh, and what saying we are watching a movie together <laughs> on the laptop i mean that's just nuts yeah <laughs> that's not the going to a theater i would thing. be the first one to sleep like if i'm doing yeah, that yeah. i'll i'll fall asleep get on zoom call i mean and it's hopefully ho- hope hopefully it's not you know the version where and how also how often is the right time to catch up also because <laughs> i know uh there's i mean like meeting i'm saying yeah imagine some people's thing they meet like once a year or once in two years oh my or god that's the worst that's the real long distance relationship like No but uh, but that's the point I'm getting to that is not a little selfish what's what is the deal here say how is it selfish you yeah, wouldn't you want to like be with someone who's around and share <laughs> what do you mean how is this back in my hometown we had this saying in hindi <laughs> i don't know if i should say this but uh, like i i me and my friend we would have a girlfriend in jamshedpur in our hometown and then when we came to bombay we were in a long distance relationship mostly right so we would have this thing when we were in jamshedpur we did not have a place like a room privacy mm. and now we have privacy but we don't have our girlfriend here so and then whenever they would come to the city we would go to the city mm. that's when we would meet them but then again we do not have any privacy mm. no and then again we would come i would come back to bombay she would do this is that uh, what dumb thing uh, they circulate uh, on the internet no when you are young you have freedom no money and all the time <laughs> when you are little older you have money but you no have no time, time. Hey, shut up but it is it is a huge negotiation i i guess yeah. no i mean what do you think about office relationships like i have this story where there was this couple in mm. the office like and it's it was almost like secret known by everyone like everybody knew they are a couple yeah. but they would behave like you know they're not a couple and like just friends and shit like that but everybody knew so <laughs> they had a bad fight like once mm. really bad fight they almost broke up okay or not almost they in fact broke up okay you know what the girl did she went and filed a complaint against the guy saying that he has sexually harassed her what are you saying yeah because they had a fight some disagreement something like i don't know uh, they had a bad bad fight and that's what she she did and the hr policies of office is so skewed towards women i mean there's a reason for that it's a good thing because women ha- find you know but have these bad experiences but anyway have these like literally i don't know one one point uh, in uh, that uh, navi mumbai office mm. thing and they were talking about uh, some news where uh, this uh, guy flashed oh my God. at this uh, lady say and there were four girls uh, yeah. at at work literally all of them have gone through that yeah and yeah it's yeah. like what it's pretty common uh, yeah it's like so technically speaking yeah there should be uh, something yeah so i mean that's a good thing but it in this case it was being misused mm. because they were in a re- consensual relationship right so then uh, this guy was they they started inquiring this guy they started asking all of us everybody said the same shit that mm. they were in a re- consensual mm. relationship mm. and shit like that but anywho the guy eventually resigned because 
I mean, once all of the you have an allegation on you in a place and there's inquiry happening, it's bad for you already. You know, you should right. just leave. So mm. he left. Mm. But mm. That, eventually, that's what happened, and that's why I am personally very scared of office relationships, like workplace relationships. It's absolute no no. This this our uh, friends friends was uh, mentioning you no know, the other day. This guy got uh, kicked out. Friend. Oh yeah yeah. yeah. He got fired because he went and asked the <laughs> HR for our number. I mean, <laughs> at least this one has one, you know, something to it. Like it was something. <laughs> this guy is straight up went to the. <laughs> Where do you even go do like the, you know, like the processing and all for that? Like yeah. immediately stamp, get the fuck out. <laughs> Oh my God! Going to the HR and being like, "Can we go out on yeah. a coffee date? Give me your number." <laughs> little but, ballsy, but yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> very little, ballsy. Very ballsy. Sigma. It should have Sigma music. It's Sigma mindset. He's <laughs> <laughs> just the HR is walking. Hey, you thought? <laughs> imagine, imagine asking for a number at an interview. Like you are at an interview, you are giving interview, and yeah. probably you figured out you are going to get rejected, and the lady who is interviewing you. That's that, that, that's that's what I asked him. I asked him if did he it it would have been a lot more funnier if we went back after getting fired. Like now that now that we are not <laughs> in the same workplace. <laughs> what to to end this whole goddamn thing? Yeah. What. Do you have like any uh, like a thing on what could make something work? Because see, sensibly speaking, yeah, I've seen people like really work on it and like build it and all of that. Mm. That's how it usually works. Yeah, but there are nut cases out there. <laughs> what do you call those signs? What do you call them? The look of uh, <laughs> horoscope. Horoscope. <laughs> Can you imagine? Uh, he's a cancer. I'm a this one. I mean, he's. Aries. A, uh, I mean, just walking around with a tablet in your hand, uh, trying to match <laughs> signs, and that's like a daily thing. No, you have to look that yeah. damn thing up every yeah. day. Yeah. So rather than rather than actually work on the relationship, like the guy will be saying something like, "Shut up! I'm looking at the. <laughs> I'm looking what we should do." <laughs> I'm like, please, I just want to talk to you about this. <laughs> It'll be um, like I heard. Uh, Uh, somewhere, at least the kinky version of it, the guy should have uh, you know mom issues, <laughs> and the girl, the girl should, should have, have dad issues. Yeah, <laughs> those are the best couples. Yeah, that's, I that's, mean, if you actually look specially around us, you'll find most of the couples are like that. A yeah, girl, a girl with a daddy issue meeting a guy with mommy issue, yeah. and they both. <laughs> Are trying to heal each other's trauma. <laughs> it's the worst. It's the so, worst. So that, so I guess that's the point. Point of late, find someone <laughs> whose trauma is easier to First handle. First, figure out yeah. if your, if you have daddy issues or if you have mommy issues, and then find Seriously. another one, <laughs> which is easier, hopefully. And they're already in like you know a path of. Healing, or because we peel off. This is the first time you're peeling it off. Then, good luck to you. <laughs> there, there we go, dude. There's your, there's your answer. Find someone with uh, matching trauma. Yes. Matching levels of trauma. Yeah. And Find someone with contrasting trauma, so that look, you look good together. <laughs> <laughs> that should be uh, one of the. Uh, what, what you, on Bumble, that should be one of the filters. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Filter between that issue. <laughs> one no, time I remember the getting the choice. On. The choice, like based on if you have daddy issues or mommy issues, you make yeah a preference. Choice. Oh, preference. okay. Yeah, <laughs> I I remember. We'll end with this nonsense. Maybe. Yeah. Uh, like the first time I signed up on uh, this one Bumble. Yeah. And he's like, get Bumble, get Bumble, <laughs> get Bumble. Um, the radius. I'm like they like uh, you want to look around one kilometer. I'm like sure, <laughs> one one kilometer. I'm looking. I like I swipe swipe. It's like it's like over. There's only that much profile. The fucking outskirts we are. So I'm like, uh, you want to increase? If you want the chances, increase the radius. They said yeah. like you know these little notes tips yeah, they yeah, share. Yeah, yeah. It's their app. Yeah. Somehow they know how to use it better. I'm like yeah, of course. So they like increase the radius. So I increase radius five kilometers. Yeah. 
in 10 kilometers yeah. 20 at one point i'm not messing around i was in pune <laughs> <laughs> zero profile zero matches there i you know gone through the entire thing whatever they yeah. could show me in the radius eh? i am at pune and literally the notification uh, notification or like a pop up thing he said listen you're going past your city right now. i'm like I, what do you want me to do then i've tried i've started from 1 km radius there's nobody here and and the ones i'm so nobody's coming back so what do you want yeah I'm, he only said uh, 300 km you only like said like after a point it it also becomes like an addiction no like once all the profiles oh, are it is. over yeah it's like what else let me increase the radius and eventually you are looking at profiles all over india um, more than that i was i was just at one point i forgot that i'm trying to date people here i was just fascinated with the profiles Profile and the description reading the yeah. description it was yeah. so horrible like <laughs> one female had written uh, uh, i like dead baby jokes <laughs> oh my god i said okay i think that's that was my last <laughs> i answer. like dead baby jokes this is this is it <laughs> this is it for me i'll just but don't you think like on the internet people would write anything to show off their dark and edgy and like what not and artisty then and- what else can they show <laughs> they got a new bajaj pulsar or something nobody cares <laughs> it is i guess bajaj pulsar <laughs> because you you have to kind of look like you have some quirk no yeah. otherwise some you know some bland shit you write <laughs> Yeah I I have a job yeah. if that's your description yeah. <laughs> and then all, there's also pressure of when you're approaching you have to o- open with a line like instead of just saying hi you mm. have to be like hey is your dad a terrorist because you look like a bomb <laughs> <laughs> no because you are a bomb you are a bomb yeah. right <laughs> that used to be worse <laughs> pick up should we start a thing pick up artist club <laughs> we train men right openers to use there are women with this thing yeah and there are okay, what's your best pickup line let's end at our best pickup lines what what what's your best pickup i don't what can you imagine my ass my with this face i go <laughs> with a with an opener what what uh, let me even try it let let's let's let me think what would be a nonsense you want What's the one um, hey uh, are you tired uh, because you've been running around my head all day. <laughs> oh yeah 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 no no so <laughs> what the hell is I've, it I've, i i just that in school so in the school in the morning you meet a girl your crush early in the morning yeah, first thing yeah. in the morning first thing in the morning <laughs> you it is that timing is important mm. so it's like hey are you tired mm. obviously first thing in the morning no one is going to say no i am tired <laughs> so they are going to uh, no like and then you'll be like but last night you were running in my dreams <laughs> so last night you were running in my dreams yeah 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 that's that's It's worse than the other one <laughs> god um then there's this one on the internet like and this a little bit like okay sometimes may work as well you know it'll be like uh, you you so if you were a girl i'll be like girlfriend material <laughs> yeah like, this i've seen yeah. this i've seen even in these uh, uh, shorts and stuff yeah, yeah it's yeah. like an actual uh, yeah. yeah they walk up and yeah you know the new one is called riz 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 it's yeah new app or something <laughs> no it's the, that's what they're calling these oh opening okay. thing like if you have game say yeah do you have game like it used to be that yeah now it's become like do you have riz can you riz someone up sounds like yeah. jizz <laughs> actually no <laughs> so the whole the whole exercise is they'll point you to a stranger and yeah. you have to walk up to them yeah. you know like flirt with yeah, them a little yeah, bit and yeah, try yeah. and get their number. number yeah it's called the risk game or some some garbage way <laughs> and we we'll go around you want to go around bombay like, <laughs> i don't know get the shit we not to go behind jail <laughs> behind bars <laughs> one complaint and gone everything <laughs> okay <laughs> we don't have much to lose this is only three episodes <laughs> Let's risk it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> On that note, like I guess we can end. Yeah. Stay tuned, guys. We are uh, recording podcast. And uh, b- going back, subscribe, you buggers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What do they say at the thing? Like, share, subscribe, or what? Yeah, but they say it like a, a little nicer way. Slap the keyboard. <laughs>
press the notification hit the thing and uh, ring the bell whatever you know the yeah, yeah. do that 